Thanks for staying with us here on Morning Live. Now, the South African Reconciliation Barometer Survey 2019 report concluded uh, by the, uh, conducted, I should say, by the Institute for uh, Justice and Reconciliation has acknowledged that the SABC is one of the most trusted public institution, at least one of them in South Africa. Now, the survey was about a range of issues in relation to reconciliation in our country. And those interviewed acknowledged that the institution's wide-ranging and diverse content, but also the SABC's commitment to providing credible, authentic programming was key. And uh, Stanley Henkerman, uh, the Executive Director of the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation, joins us now from our Seapoint studios in Cape Town. Stanley, thanks so much for speaking to us here on Morning Live and welcome to the show. Thank you, Sakina. It's wonderful to be on Morning Live. Now, just to put it out there, this was, of course, not solely about the SABC per se or media, but about a range of issues in relation to reconciliation in South Africa. So uh, just in terms of the overarching question that was asked in the survey, what were you pulsing from the public? So, Sakina, a number of issues um, are, are highlighted and questions asked around them. Um, uh, this question around um, trust in institutions is, is part of the theme on um, democratic political culture, uh, but we also ask questions about power relations, um, racial reconciliation, how much progress have we made in terms of reconciliation, um, and people's perceptions of change. Um, so, so it's a range of, of, of topics, and, um, and it's quite interesting that um, for the third consecutive survey, now this survey is done every th uh, two years, um, but for the third consecutive survey, um, the SABC um, is uh, classified by people um, as their most trusted institution. Now, it's a public perception survey, um, sampled um, with, with 2,400 um, people across the country representing the cross-section of society. And, and so that's, that's quite interesting. And of course, it, it gives you a sense also of what is happening in our society because there's a lot of movement between different um, institutions uh, depending on what happens with that institution or within those institutions. And, and, and seeing as you uh, speak about the public's trust in the SABC, and you said you do this survey every two years. Now, in 2017, the SABC was leading at 50.7%, and now uh, still leading, but this time at 57%. So what has changed? Is, is uh, the sample, you know, um, does it show that the public's trust has grown in the institution, or are you able to dissect that for us a little further? So, Sakina, I think the one thing we need to understand is that 2017 um, was a difficult year for South Africa, a, a horrible year. In fact, all institutions, most institutions have, have lost a lot of uh, um, favor with, with the general public. And so we see in 2019 that um, all institutions um, have, have gone up. Um, the, the, the biggest um, increase in trust has actually been in the president. Um, but the SABC has gone up um, sev more than 7%. So, um, and I think that there might be a number of reasons for it. One, I would say, is, is that the SABC is probably the most accessible source of information for the majority of South Africans. It's the one um, broadcast media that, um, that reaches everybody in their own language, where they are, whether it's radio, television, um, but it's also the affordability aspect because, um, you know, it costs a lot of money to access um, other, other sources of news. And so I think those two things are really important, affordability, but also accessibility of the SABC. So people may want to know, you know, how reliable is this particular survey? Um, you know, how scientific is it? And, and, and how many people actually make up your sample? I think that's a fair question. Um, so the sample is 2,400 adult South Africans over the, uh, over the age of 18. And um, it is a sample that is randomized. It, 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 it means that every 
South African has the, possi the potential or possibility to be interviewed. Um, and we, we corroborate uh, the, the survey stats or the, or, or the sample with Stats SA. Um, that's, that's the one thing. So um, from, a, from a survey point of view, um, you need, that is a, a good sample to use. Um, but the other thing is that it is also trusted because it is the oldest reconciliation barometer in the world. We have been running this barometer since 2003. And um, subsequent to that, uh, other countries uh, have followed suit. Uh, so it is a barometer that has been around for a long time. And, and, and I think one, one, you know, we also have to say that if you are quoted um, in, in university, uh, universities, if um, in the 25-year review, um, the, 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 some of the th information from the, from the reconciliation barometer is cited, then you know it is, it is reliable. And so we are quite confident that it is a reliable um, survey. Sunny, what sort of instruments were used to measure people's opinions and attitudes? So it's a it's a face to face interview um, across the country, um, and the interview is done in people's language of choice. So uh, in order to ensure that that there's no misunderstanding of the question, and so every single person who gets interviewed get gets interviewed in his or her mother tongue. Um, and, and we make absolutely sure that we, we have a good cross-section of South African society. So every conceivable group that you can identify in the country would be, would be uh, um, included in the survey. So it's male, female, um, youth um, and, and older people, uh, rural, urban. Um, it, it, it also has to do with... Um, the living standards measurement, the income, and so forth, um, race, uh, and, and so, you, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a wide range of, of um, potential groupings. But what is the bigger picture with regard to this information that you gather? So essentially what we're trying to do is to ask the question, how much progress are we making in South Africa? Um, around reconciliation, because that obviously is, is, is the focus, but also has um, things been, dif have things become different for people? Um, have things improved for people? And I think, as I said earlier, it is a mixed bag. It depends on where we are in the country. Just to give you a, a practical example, um, this year, when we asked the question, how many people uh, believe in that reconciliation is important. Um, you have a percentage of over 70% of people, 77 point uh, something percent of people said reconciliation is important. But when you ask the, the subsequent question, how many people experienced reconciliation, uh, it comes that down to 51.1%. And so that's a good way to see whether what we say or what we uh, um, would like um, whether that matches with the reality on the ground. Um, and it, we, so we ask people about their, their standard of living, whether they feel that they're better off, whether they think that um, relationships uh, between different race groups have improved. And so it's a, a, a range of, of questions we ask. And you can imagine we've had, this was round 16. This was the 16th survey. You can imagine the kind of comparisons we are able to, to, to strike and draw between the different uh, um, uh, barometers over the years. And so it gives us a snapshot of, of where we are as a country in relation to where we were. Now, having said that, I must say, Sakina, that we have gone back as a country in terms of people's perceptions. Uh, if you compare, for instance, key institutions like national government, provincial government, local government, um, between 2006 and 2019, there has been a massive decrease in all of those institutions, which tells you that people's confidence in institutions are, is actually going down. 
Um, and so while 2019 is, a, is, is, is better than 2017, it still doesn't compare with what it was in the earlier years. And so we do have, and so it's good for government, for instance, to, to understand uh, what people think, but it's also good for other institutions like SAPs, like SARS. Um, just to give you another example, uh, revenue services at one point was quite high, one of the highest uh, inst uh, trust trusted institutions. It has gone down in 2017. It has now gone up in 2019 because it is the third uh, highest uh, or third best trusted institution behind the presidency and, and, and the SABC. Wow. And then and that's great to know. But just as well that this survey obviously used a qualitative approach because I wanted you to expand just a little bit more on some of the responses that were given and the sort of things that people are saying when they talk, for example, about um, uh, the, the, the South African police service. What are they saying about an institution such as that? So, so. So while it's a quantitative um, survey, you ask the question to, to test the level of, of confidence. Uh, obviously, that needs to be followed up with qualitative uh, um, in information. Um, but essentially what it says is that the uh, South African police services, believe it or not, uh, since 2013 had actually improved. Uh, 2013, they were one of the lowest uh, um, trusted inst institutions, but one, we, one can understand that because in 2012 you had Marikana. And, and so it, this, this survey also is a good gauge of what happened in the country and what people think about what happened. And, and for instance, the, the biggest impediment in 2019 to reconciliation is corruption. And you can understand why, because it's in the news, um, it's in people's faces. Um, and so, and so uh, the police um, still, uh, um, you know, need, there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, Marikana, uh, post Marikana was the absolute low point for them, um, but, but they still, um, you know, uh, uh, not uh, over in the early 40% or so. Oh, very interesting. Thank you so much, Stanley Henkerman, the Executive Director of the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation, talking to us about the 2019 South African Reconciliation Barometer Survey, which revealed that uh, the public perceives the SABC as the second most trusted public institution in South Africa. Let's take a break.